Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how we're working with the pagination. So you quickly can add the, the page uh, change with numbers and you can build the static way and you can build the, the, the callback way when you click on something and then you call your own function. And, and that's what I want to show you in this video. I really hope you want to, to stay with me today and uh, this video will probably be a uh, one of the more shorter and uh, before we continue i really hope you want to subscribe if you don't know how to subscribe please click on the thing below in the right corner of the video and then you got subscribed for my channel and you'll get new content every time i'm published out thank you so much and let's go ahead so the first we're gonna do it's a, a very basic one so i'll say b pagination and inside that Okay, I'll just do this one. I want to build a V model, and we want to set it for the current page, and then we want to say the total rows we have. And then we say uh, per page how many uh, numbers we want to say the page so the model is the binding one you click on the number on the pagination and the total rows is how many uh, how many rows do we want to display and then we have the prepage that's how many um, page you want to display so if you have 100 rows and you only want to display 20 every time, then it will give you five pages. And the current page will bind for the model, and when you click, it will change the, the page. So let's go in down here to the data, and we want to say current. current page should be let's say five and then we say rows 200 and pre-page just say 50. let's going back for the browser one more time so you can see here we have five and six and we can click so everything here it's working pretty easy so the next we we're gonna work with should how we can create your own uh, pagination uh, function so you can change a little bit so you don't need the the default building so you can change the first te text and the previous text and the last and the, uh, the next text and something like that so that's what we're going to work with now let's go back for the editor we are scrolling it up let's uh, copy this one and make a whoops break in here which we have the, the first one and the second one that's fine we have the same uh, the same settings but you can say first text that's meaning uh, let's go in back this is the first this is the pre no, sorry yes this is the first one and this is the last one this is the preview, and this is the next text. That's how it's working. And that's what we're gonna change now. So let's push in here to say first. And we just say preview text. Just say preview. And then we say the next text. And then the last text. If I'm saving that and going back for the browser here, now you can see we have changed the, the arrows here for for something, and you can change this for whatever you want. So that's just uh, showing up here. Let's go back for the editor, and if you want to play with the, the slots, let's copy this one. If we want to basically remove this and uh, say the class and 
and we're going inside. So let's say I want the, a, a little other way. So I need some special one. You need to say the previous one should be a, a red color and the last should be yellow and, and something like that. So, so we need to, to change a little bit based on how it's working. Then you want to be uh, use the, the slots and that's what I'm gonna to do now. So let's say you want the template here. The template should be bound for the slot. And the slot should be the first text. And we just do this to the beginning, just to demonstrate how it's working. And then we just say preview text. Then the next text, and then the last text. Let's go in for the browser to confirm this is working. You can see it's confirming right now. So right away we have exactly the same as the the previous example we creating. So let's go back and modify it a little more. So I'll just say Spain class text succeeds and that's it first pre but there should be danger and next should be a warning Let's come back for the it again. Now you can see we have changed a little bit with the with the colors, so that's working pretty well. So let's going up and copy this one. I just need this one for the next example because of course we can have a different variants of the the pagination. We could have uh, the default one, and then we have the pills, and you can just put inside and say pills here and then we going up here and say it's a round one so that's working pretty well and uh, and of course if you have in the website we have different uh, uh, different ways like this is always uh, aligned to left then you can create the uh, aligns to left middle and right so I'll just going up here starting here the align should be center align right and align fill and this one should be some expanded as it should be. So let's go back and see how it's working. Uh, default is left as we confirmed many times now. Then we are aligned center. So it's be a central of the page. And then you push it to the right side. And then you have fill. Fill meaning it's trying to do it so big as the contents allow. And that's uh, this video is uh, now coming to the end. And this is everything about how we can work with the basic uh, pagination. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you you get the point about how it's working. And I appreciate it too if you want to subscribe to this channel so you get more uh, get more videos from me. And I really hope you want to like and uh, share this video. Don't forget if you have any questions, please make the comments below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Thank you so much and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.